and welcome back to Cameronian Grace Military. Uh, today I I'm going to show you this World War II Army Air Corps uniform that was worn by my great uncle during World War II. So uh, this is his full uniform here, minus the shirt and the tie because uh, those were missing. But these are original to the era. But he he did not wear these. Um, so we have his cap his jacket and his pants um so yeah this is his crusher cap from the war uh the reason why they called them crushers is because have uh the headphones and they crushed their caps to put those over um so a little history on that oops um so you have the crusher here with the uh Officer's insignia on it, I believe. Uh, the 50, 50, fl 50 uh, mission crusher or whatever. I can't remember what exactly it was called. But you have the insides here. Marshall Field. Piece of foam in there. There. And original leather bill here. It's in really good condition. But um, here. And then you have his jacket. I believe it's Class A's uh, here. So you have the two US um, pins here. And then the winged pins here. And then you have the this. Um, honorably discharged patch or whatever you want to call it so they would get this after the war when they were honorably discharged you have the wings here um then brass buttons here and then you have the belt it actually has a belt <laughs> here i think officers would mainly have these i don't think enlisted would because so when you get the jacket off there's a tag inside I'll show you really thought this was interesting under the belt you have a plastic button instead of the nice dress buttons I thought that was interesting but yeah this is a dress uniform they wouldn't wear this out anywhere except for really dress occasions Let's see here. Anything in this pocket here? Nah. But it is dated in here somewhere, 1942, I believe. Maybe in one of the pockets, but this is a 1942 uh, dated jacket, I believe. Just gonna button the top button there. Um, and then his pants that he wore, um, too. So, uh, what I understand, um, I did not personally meet Uncle Don, because, or great Uncle Don, because he died before I was born in the, in the 90s, I believe. Um, but my dad met him, my sisters met him. Um, but yeah, I believe he was over in uh, Europe in the European theater. Um, and he, I think he went in in 1942 and went out in 1945, I believe. Uh, and he went back to his family's ranch after the war, uh, in New Hampshire and then, uh, sold it afterwards. And there's a whole different story there, but, um, yeah. So, Oh, and you see here, Here's his patch. I forgot to show you this. Here's his patch from uh, the war. It, I think by my research, this is a uh, headquarters patch. Patch. But you can see this is an early type because it's felt and it's, you know, embroidered. Embroidered felt. Probably if you're uh, theater made. Because, yeah. Because the ones made in factories and stuff like that were 
more nice and not felt, which I like the felt ones better, in my opinion. So, but um, yeah, nice pockets and everything, um, nice and big. So, this is Uncle Don here. Um, not in, he's not in this uniform. He's in, probably in his earlier cadet uniform that he had. Um, and then, of course, the patch. And you see his color discs and everything. I can't really see what it has on it. Probably wings or propeller, something like that. So, yep, that's the guy who wore that uniform. And... This is also his New Testament pocket Bible, Protestant version. This is what he probably would have had carried around. Oops. Here. Um, from, I think it's dated 1942. Let's see. Yep, 1942. United States Government Printing Office, Washington, 1942. And this was his Bible in the war. So, he didn't write in it, but it's his. Yeah, I remember um, when I was much younger, I remember this Bible and his hat just around the house. So, yeah, it's interesting. An interesting piece of uh, family history and American history, which is really nice. So... Um, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you want to learn more Militaria. Uh, have a good rest of your day.